And we're back, so we're gonna do a little bit of base building here. Um, and I don't know why, but like every time I come back, like dog meat is on the verge of death, and he's just, like stuck in his doghouse. Um, I don't know why. Everything okay, boy? Yes, he's just playing around. Don't worry, dog meat. I always hate doing that because like dog meat just had that sad whimper. It's like, oh. Bigger than strong new. I'm so heavy because I think all my stuff's worn off, so I gotta sell. Hey, Carla. Uh, Time to do business. Hopefully, I'll remember to cut this part. Or I might just. I, got a little bit of I don't know. This might make this an extra long episode. <laughs> this goes on for how long? Uh, let me check the hour nineteen. So we got about thirty more minutes. <laughs> um. That'd be like a 60 minute episode. Uh, you, YouTube would definitely love that because they, they praise longer, longer apps, longer videos, but most people don't watch 60 minute videos. I guess you could just, uh, turn the video off and come back and it'll just be in place. YouTube's pretty good about doing that for anything longer than 20 minutes. Heck, even some things are, they're like 10 minutes, it'll save your spot. Not really sure what dictates that. Um, yeah, I've gotten to this point where like anything that can give you radiation and eating it, I just sell it. Cause like everything else I can just make. Like I kill enough wildlife to like, oh, I've killed enough wild, I've killed enough death claws to feed a small army at this point. Uh, in my inventory right, in my inventory right now, I have 14 death claw stakes, which means I've killed at least seven death claws. The thing could get like two, two stacks, uh, two sets of meat per. Um. So yeah, um. Can't remember, do I do some, do I do base modification or do, uh, weapon modding? Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. Oh sure, make me carry more of your junk. That's funny she says that because I'm actually taking the inventory out. Ugh. So yeah, I just kind of realized. I wonder if you can equip the dog collar like if it equips to your neck instead. Like it acts like a third op, like a fourth uh, equip item for your head. Like now you can equip like a face, your eye, like glasses and like a helmet. I wonder if like dog collar will like act as, a, act as like a neck item. Not sure why you'd want to wear a dog collar, but you know. Oh, they got the dog chain collar. Those are kind of cool. Oh, that does kind of look vaguely, uh... I guess, I guess if, you're, if you're going to do an evil run. Like the chain necklace is kind of an evil thing, or trying to do a tough guy thing, kind of maybe. Maybe like the Adam Cats, but I don't know, maybe like an 80s gang instead of a 50s gang. <laughs> a, 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 a gang member in the 2015 as envisioned in the, in the 80s. I'll take a look, sure. I know, I know, I'm late for the Back to the Future reference, but still. And that was, that was a spiked collar, wasn't it? That gr that Griff wore, wasn't it? That's a spiked collar. Um, man, I've got so many caps. Oh, and yet I have yet to buy a single uh, vendor legendary vendor gear. It's like so freaking expensive, and I don't want to. I don't like. Buying stuff from the vendors, I like selling stuff to them. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird in real life. I have trouble. I'm having currently having trouble keeping a hold of the money I have, though. That's primarily because of the holidays, and you know, I have a limited amount of time to buy for people, so I gotta buy what I can now. And so, yeah. Um, as opposed, to like, well, actually, I'm actually very good with my money. Other on other day, other days of the year, I tend not to spend it as much. Um, Fallout Four being the being the first game I ever paid full price for. Um, actually, second game, 
first game was Dishonored. People have been <laughs> Even then, that was like the three days. months after the game came out. Three or four months after the game came out. So, I mean, wow. <laughs> I got my money's worth off that one, too. I just need to trade gear with you. It was like my first purchase of my own money after uh, getting after after getting my first job. Um. That was my first purchase. My first purchase was a pair of shower curtains. <laughs> they were Aperture Science shower curtains, to be fair. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so, um. Trying to figure out some, something else to say now. Crud. I've kind of from run out of things to say. <sighs> I could I could try to talk about current news, but really everyone's been talking about the video game award show right now and what Konami's what been doing. Project, really Am I the only one that really that, that's wondering what Konami is? Doing with their with their careers like everything they keep doing is, is everything that, that keeps happening with in Konami like bit, like news wise it seems like they're trying like they're trying to go out of business. I thought only American businesses did I that. I hope those raiders oh. for what they've done. Whatever's going for those of you, for those of you that are wondering what Konami's done this time. Um, it's that for whatever reason they they denied uh, Kojima getting an award for Metal Gear Solid Five. Like they face. they actually sent lawyers no in on the whole yeah, thing and right. told him he couldn't accept his award because apparently he's still under contract with them despite the fact that he, that he left the company oh, some time ago. So you wonder who Kojima is? He's the guy who created Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Solid franchise, um, and also, incidentally, created Metal Gear Solid Five. So Konami would love for you to forget that because they, because they not only struck his name from the uh, credits shortly before it came out, but they also have been doing, trying their hardest to. Uh, keep people from saying Kojima's name in on YouTube. They've been like trying to get rid of vi any video that has like Kojima or Hideo Kojima written on the uh, on the video itself. Cuz yeah, cuz that's good for business, right? Piss pe piss your uh, piss your customers off more. It when is, when did games become so depressing? I thought I thought we played games to have fun, not to be depressed by. Please, just. Mm. I, I need to be alone right now. Between this and the whole feminist thing and whatever is going on with Gamergate and all this stuff, so it's just like it. it it's a wonder we've made it this far. Jeez, like we've made so many strides in gaming to try to, to try to eliminate these very same problems to keep keep people from thinking games in general are bad for you. It's like God, like, these current events are just not doing us any justice. Like we're like we're just so freaking aggressive about everything now. It's like I'm not just talking about gamers. Like especially with you know the whole thing with. Konami is like it's even worse with companies right now. I mean, Nintendo and Let with Nintendo and against Let's Playing and you know, against YouTube in general, it feels like. And like Konami just like uh, at this point, what else do we say? Being Konami, like there's no other way. To, there's no other way to put it. It's like it's just it's a, it's an oppressing myth. Excuse me, it's a depressing mess. Huh? Like tell the good doc what's wrong. Spend your caps and I'll make it. Like I honestly got the I honestly got 
honestly have to think like you can't be that loaded. stupid. Com like these 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 companies that are doing this stuff, like EA, EA, Konami, Sega, which is probably one of the earlier examples of being against against the internet. Um, anyone that's anyone that's sided on the side, like SOPA, people in the in the Trans Pacific Partnership Agreement. You can't be this stupid, right? I mean, obviously they aren't that stupid. Why is this an issue? Why are you making, why are you fighting so much for, why are you fighting so hard for so little? Like, the big thing is, like, it's always like, oh, it's the piracy that's the problem, it's the piracy that's the problem. No, it's not piracy, because, let's face it, the people that are pirating most likely aren't going to see your movies Anyway, it just happens to be that, oh, we can pirate it, oh well, they weren't going to go see it, it to begin with. What you need to do is you make something worth seeing, that they'll be wor that'll be worth paying for, and yeah, you're going to run into some pirates that aren't going to pay for it regardless, but you know, the people that do want to pay for it, there are people that do legitimately want to pay for quality. Make good things, and, you know, people will buy it to support it. Because people want to see good things come out of the industries that they support. Be it games, movies, or books. Or music. And here's another thing, too. Make it make it more convenient, convenient to buy, and people will buy it. Most people buy stuff off of iTunes rather than Pirate because it's so, so much easier to do that. It's the click of the button. It's like the same thing, but like you don't have to worry about getting viruses or like, you know, waiting waiting for days for an uploader to decide to get up off their button, upload a video or upload the, the song or whatever and make sure that it's in a flawless form flawless co uh form that doesn't sound like it's been recorded off of someone's old uh tape deck tape recorder from the sixties. Um And here is their parody of Missile Command. Again, almost spot on. Um, and that's the thing too. It's like, especially with like how things are now, how easy it is to use the internet. It's like, you might as well just embrace it because the easier you make it for people, the less the less hassle you have in the long run. Um. Like, a lot of people just... I don't know, like, a lot of these... Like, it, it really makes you wonder how out of touch with the reality these business people are. If they're going to sit there and try to... They really made it hard... They really make it hard on themselves to, when they do stuff like that. When they do stuff like, you know, try to... Try to stifle progress in the, in the vein of, Oh, we're doing it to protect our assets. From this thing. Uh, from this evil, but like you're going way too extreme, and we can see that you're going way too extreme. People aren't that stupid. I mean, don't get me wrong. In large groups, people are probably some of the dumbest people in the world. Um, dumbest, most impatient people in the world. But you know, individually, we can think on our own. Um, and we can figure this stuff out pretty quickly. I just got, I just kind of went from anger, <laughs> this whole, this whole section, I just went from anger to acceptance. I went through all five stages of grief, didn't I? <laughs> was it denial? No, I, I didn't, I skipped denial. I went straight on, I skipped denial and went straight on to anger. Uh, bargaining, depression. I just, I, I just need to go to acceptance and I'll, and I'll be done. <laughs> Which I kind of already am at this point, huh? We're already at the acceptance phase. That was quick and easy. <sighs> so yeah, so right here is the power armor I was talking about, the X01 Mark oh Mark IV right now. It starts off the X01 one. Um the one here I'm actually gonna show you where to find it if I remember correctly. You gotta look for a place called the Custom House Tower. And then right around where my arrow is 
is this building called a, it's like a shoot 35 it's, it doesn't appear on the map you go into the building um, fight fight off some protect uh, protect trons some turrets be growing well then you climb up a uh, an elevator shaft and Imagine you get, or you, put, you go up an elevator, let's, not, not not the shaft, but you go up the elevator, and then this dude of armor's on top of the elevator. Um, huh? Now, for those of you that decide to pause the video immediately, uh, do the thing, and come back, how'd you enjoy the legendary sentry bot that was, that was up there waiting for you in the Assault Tron? Yeah. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, when you get to the top of that tower, you'll have to fight a legendary sentry bot, which is... Okay, so sentry bots are hard enough to fight as they are on their own. They're difficult beasts of, of machines. A legendary one regenerates all its health. Not to mention you have to deal with an assault tron as well, and we all saw how, how hard it was to fight assault trons in this video. They eat your health alive. Um, so yeah. Fun times, fun times. Um, I managed to beat them, and I managed to get the power armor. And, yeah. It's what I use to go through the glowing sea, and it's what I use to protect myself against the death claws. I know a lot of people would probably say, you know, that's nothing to be surprised of. The death claws are pretty easy with, the, with your power armor, but I don't care. I don't care. I am the king of the death claws. I am king of the death claws. Okay? I took out three alphas in a row. Two of them legendary. And yeah, in the span of like under 10 minutes, I'm gonna, you know, within 10 minutes total. 10, maybe 15 minutes total. Plus a few, plus a few rad scorpions in the process at the same time. The, the, the rad scorpions just kept popping up out of nowhere. Just freaking A. And I hate rad scorpions because your laser weapons don't do crap against them. It just bounces off their armor. Um. But yeah, so. Add all that, and. <laughs> the thing that got me in the glowing sea, though, this is the funny thing, was a freaking stingwing. You know those little things that look like giant mosquitoes with, with uh, scorpion tails? That's what got me. I was king of the death claws for like 15, 20 minutes. After, like 15, 20 minutes after, I'm, I fight a sting, like a legendary stingwing. It's like, oh, this shouldn't be too hard. And it's not. They're not that hard. For some reason it kills me. I, I, I guess I'm, I guess I wasn't paying attention to my health or something. It's like, I just suddenly die. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so I could be a death claw, but a stingwing. Just to be fair, stingwings are kind of difficult to fight because there's they're not they're not the easiest of, of creatures to fight. Um, the flying enemies in general, these small flying enemies are a pain. Um, by the way, that's the lights. That's what happens when you turn the headlights on for the uh, the X01 helmet. The eyes glow. Awesome. Um, it's kind of neat because you can like change the color of the light. So you can get like some red lights. You can get like blue lights. You can get purple lights, and so on and so forth. Um, I think they all cost the same. I think they all cost the same, but they're, uh, just, they're just different colors. Um, I have the bright lights on, so it's like it makes things, Heads up. makes things bright. Worth it. Um, Bye. Anything wrong. How do you feel about us? We're doing pretty good, I'd say. Hmm. And in this shite hole we call a world... That's really saying something. What are your thoughts? And I, here I just finish off this to some nice. of the things Kate says when you ask about, I hope it lasts. Her, about the relations and thoughts. Your thoughts? I'm not superstitious, but seeing that ship fly overhead give me the chance. Oh yeah, the, the Brotherhood ship, the Pridwed. Pridwed or whatever. I call it the Pride Wind, because that's what it, that's what it that's got in my head, and it sounds so much better than what they say. They, say, they call it like the Pridwed. Pre-wind pre or something like that. And like, it should have been called Pride Wind. It would have been so much better. Um, Come on, boy. And I think that Pride Wind is an actual thing. Um, oh, yeah, right here. Like, um, I'm listening to like the reaction between the characters. Like when you uh, go to switch out characters. Ready. Good. 
Then let's get moving. Don't look at me that way, you dirty little mole rat. Ah, uh, don't like that Kate says that. Don't know where she get that. Don't know where she get that aggression from uh, dog me because I think she's she's rather nice to him the rest of the time. Like whenever, whenever you switch uh, dog me to her. Don't worry, strong smash enemy. And I'll probably travel with strong one day. So much walking. But strong just freaking annoys the hell out of me. I need to ask you something. I just do not like when Strong talks. Like every time he talks, this one bash his head in. Find milk of human kindness on all. It's just what the hell is he talking about? Never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, probably don't want to know milk of human kindness. Um, but yeah, it's just. Mm. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. I think you really want that do good or watching your back. Yeah, she, she one of these days, you'll finally realize that the world doesn't revolve around you. Baby. I don't really like Preston that much. I don't I don't hate him, but like I he's almost got like this kind of Am I right? Do you have a minute? Excuse me. Ready to head back out? It's like Preston just kind of has like this almost like kind of I don't know. I don't know what it is about him. But it's kind of like uh, all yours, Kate. Take care. I think this guy is, is just kind of has like a generic personality, and there's not like there's not a whole lot more to it. Excuse me. I've still got something um, to tell you. If you've got a minute. He's another kind of character. Like whenever I talk to him, it's kind of. What is it? When we first met, I admit I had my doubts about you, but you. He just kind impressive. of annoys me somehow. It's I don't know what it is exactly. Back from the brink. Like, uh, like I said, I don't hate him, and I want to like him because he's he's a he's a good guy and everything. He's a cool guy and everything. Thanks. But it's like, it's just like it's like the. the by now how important the I think it's a bland personality that is like. Minutemen were my hero. Is is crossed with like the wooden, the very wooden acting he has. Like, yeah, like, like yeah, like, like some of these actors really try to put their all into it. And I don't think Preston Garvey's uh, VA really tried. It, uh, maybe that's what it, what it is. Felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the like I don't I don't feel like I believe what he's saying right here. If things were so great back then, um, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough. To I like I really want to fast you forward through all this right now. <laughs> I don't I'm not going to because I'll desync the video. I but General Beck uh, was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the uh, thing. But after he was killed. It all came out For those of you wondering, I have this on my headphone. I'm listening to this on my headphones, so like you guys don't hear the audio. And this audio, I'm recording my audio separate from the video, so yeah, that's usually how I do things. Anyway, like uh, like I'll be able to hear the game audio with my headphones. I still believe that the minute man, like I have my I have my actual audio, like me talking, uh, separate, so that you uh. We're doing our best. So that, that way, like, nothing sounds off, so you don't hear any echoing in the background. That's probably one of the worst things that, that could possibly happen, is hearing echoes. Um, I used to, the way I used to do it is before I had the headphones, I used to just record everything from my microphone. It's like when my video recording, I could just turn the audio recording off. Need to get back to Diamond City. One of these. Um, and I used to do that, but the audio is the game audio at that point was just so awful. And like having to sync it up, well, syncing up it was pretty easy at that point. Kind of did the same stuff. What I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. <laughs> same here. That was all. Uh, too bad I don't drink. This place just has farmers. All they want are pipe pistols and stupid ammo. Or is the maniac slobbering for a mini nuke? Am I right? And I hate cricket so much. This is non-canon at this point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will see you guys later.